Okay, guys, good morning. So we just pulled in to the Iowa State Fairground flea market. This will be the last one that they have until October, I think. Hi, guys, it's Brooke from the Junk Parlor. So we have a big day because I had my, or am having my first vintage restock on the website at thejunkparlor.com. So that goes live at 9 a.m. Central Time. So be sure to go over and check out thejunkparlor.com. It's kind of funny because I feel like a big girl because this is my first website restock, like official one. And I say that because always before I might put a couple things on the website and just post them on the website. I didn't do anything that was official, but I teamed up with some girls for a vintage market today. And so I have 40 items or 40 ish items going live today. So check it out. After the flea market, we are going to be going to, I'll, I'll look and see what the official name is. but some kind of mid-century shop hop. So American Pickers or Midwest Pickers, Midwest Pickers, I think is his name. I will double check before I post this video. He reached out and asked me to do a little um, YouTube video for that event. And so I put it on my calendar and I'm kicking myself for not double checking all of the details. I knew it was a Saturday, Sunday thing. Cash was supposed to have a football game on Sunday, and so I knew I was going to go today. But I didn't really pay attention to the details. I saw that there was a shop hop and a tour of mid-century modern houses. How freaking awesome is that? So I looked this morning, and guess what? I needed to buy tickets for the house tour, and that was that is only on Sunday, and it is already sold out. So I know for next year, and you know for next year, that we are going to be paying attention so that we can do the mid-century modern tour, because I'm telling you, the houses look amazing. So I wish that I had paid more attention. However, even if I had paid more attention, I wouldn't have bought a ticket because I figured I would have been at Cash's football game. And also tomorrow on Sunday, I have a Facebook live sale. So if you are on Facebook, follow me at the junk parlor and come over at 7 p.m. Central Time to see what live goodies I will be selling. As we walk around today, Brooke is going to be super picky about what items she buys because we just went to the Elkhorn Flea Market and Peck Fang, which I'll link all down here in the description, and I've spent a lot of money. So hopefully I sell a lot of stuff this weekend on the website restock and during the Facebook Live sale, but I'm going to be picky with my purchases. I want to get things that are super unique and unusual versus just like common everyday things. So wish me luck. This is something different. So it looks like it's got some electrical tape on it. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Patented 28 and 32. The Tokum Company VAC. I'm guessing a funeral something. Let's see. Pump jar. It just seems like something with embalming. How'd the rest of the year, weekend, or last sale go? Pretty cool. Okay. I was thinking some sacks. That might have been it. I think that's probably a reproduction. Cemetery marker. are actually camping chairs. I opened one up and the mesh is not perfect, but of 
course, I love the color. Oh, I've never seen so light quite like that before. Interesting. Frank and stuff? Uh-huh. So. That's very neat. Yeah. And then these, a lot of people don't realize it, but these are U.S. Cups. Army. Okay. And oh. uh, they're from the 50s and the 60s. National Guard still use them every now and then. See, this one says 1955, 56, something like that on there. That's cool. You know? They're kind of like Melomac. Yeah. They do burn easy, though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, many years ago, I put one in a microwave with a hamburger in it. Uh-oh. Yeah, not a good thing. And, you know, a lot of different stuff. I mean, there's so much stuff. You know, I just bought a whole bunch of uniforms. Yeah. Do you sell anywhere else? Actually, I, I we do a military show out in Johnston. Okay. And it's it's a, people from all over uh, the Midwest, basically. I have people coming in from... I always like this booth. This is pretty neat. A little blackboard. Although everybody does not like clowns. Neat. Somebody must have collected intake stuff. This truck would be awesome because it's red, white, and blue already. A little single butter pat. And I wore jeans and a tank top, and I am freezing my sushi off. I should know better. I'm always cold. I've had this box with candles before. I don't think that one has any candles in it. That one's a neat strainer. Stamped Germany. Cute little boxes. seen one with the lid like that. It's just like an aluminum lid. That's a different kind of tea. Refuser. has good things and this silver pitcher I just love the shape of it and it's MFB I wish it was MJB but it's just got such a great shape this is fun must have been some kind of game Put those velcro on tons of nautical Girl Ira would like this clown. All of this clown stuff. There's one cool paint by number. I can't get to the other one right now to show you. I'm 
Jason has a good undercover. Noah's Ark, it says. That is awesome. Put this down. It's pretty put that cool. down there. There's that probably fine up here. Just don't sell yeah. it to anyone. <laughs> All right, I just took pictures of this for what is it Wednesday? I mean, obviously I can guess, but it's definitely very unique. I love these little urchin shells. A razor. Pretty normal. This one is actually metal. The whole thing is metal. a whole lot of vintage dealers in there this time so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my haul here in the back of the truck I got these vintage candy cane like steaks in the comments please tell me what goes right here so the guy thought maybe there were candles in those because there's wax that has ran down a lot of these that have steaks there's some orange steaks, which I have no idea what those are, and no idea what those are, but uh, I got it for the candy canes. Then I got this green fish float. Not my favorite color of green, but it'll do. Got a little rolling pin for my rolling pin Christmas tree attempt. And then I just got a tin like this that said cocoa on it. I like the cocoa better than the barley, but they match, so I went ahead and got them. Um, my girl Jennifer has been looking for a uh, paper uh, container, metal hold tray holder. These were weird, and actually the black little things, um, probably to protect your furniture, furniture protectors, are in every corner. And then this little thing I thought would be just a cute riser, so I grabbed it. Concrete little bird here. Does have a broken tail. At least a little bit's gone. And then look at all of these. Um, locker basket uh, keys, or keys, um, pins. I don't think they are horse blanket pins. Uh, they just don't look pointy or sharp enough. But I think once I clean these up with some WD-40, they all have awesome numbers on them. So I think they'll clean up fine, fingers crossed. Then I got two um, card catalog drawers. I love the pulls on this one. And then this one, they just, they nest together perfectly. So that's probably one of the biggest reasons that I got them. They do need oiled up quite a bit. They're pretty rough on the tops. Next time we come, it will be October.